Hey guys, you're watching because you want to lonely. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a Cruise Ship. How beautiful is this? I just turned the uh, the shaders on to have a look here. My mic's a little bit close. Let me drop that down. That's in my way. Oh, I tell you, what's the worst thing about summer for you? Question of the day. Comment section below. What's the worst thing about summer? Is it that it's too hot? Which it sometimes can be. It can be a little bit too hot. But some people really enjoy the heat. For me, it has to be the flies. I kid you not, there's so many flies going around this room. You might even see one go past the green screen in the videos. <laughs> Something like that. There's so many of them. And I live out in the countryside, which just makes it a million times worse. I can go to friends' houses in the city. And there's like hardly any flies about anywhere. And then I come home and they're just all over the place. I even get those little sticky things that you put on the window that look like flowers. So they stick to them. Maybe you guys have the same thing. Anyway, today I really want to finish off the top of our cruise ship here. Last episode we sort of built up this area. Done the cool sort of archways. Really, really fun episode. Today I want to work on here though. I want to get the... I want to get two funnels in. I think that would be totally awesome. And I want to make them out of orange wool. Because we've got a little bit of orange. And actually, dark blue wool. Blue wool. Dark blue. Not not the light blue. Dark blue wool. And maybe some white. Just as a little bit of an accent. I think I will make it all out of wool. Because then it all has the same sort of texture going up and throughout them. So let's just sort of bring back... Where this is the uh, the middle line on that section. We'll do the same thing over there. We'll do the same thing twice. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks in. Let's just, I don't need to do it on the other side. I should be fine. So from here, this is where our funnels, I think they're called funnels, chimneys, whatever you want to call them, are going to begin. So we want to have something about that size to start off with. Like that. Yeah, about that sort of shape and size. Come out here. And then bring it back this way. Like this. They're not, they're, they're never really that, well they are big if you think about like the actual size of them. But they're not like um, grossly huge round sections. But they're not going to go straight up. They're going to go up at a slight angle. And I think the best way to do that for me will be to cheat and use a little bit of world edit to help us out a little bit. As soon as this is a video and I don't have a million years to <laughs> do each layer. But if I copy and I go up a block and I paste. And I can go up another block, paste. But now we're going to go, whoops, in a block like this and paste here and paste here then go in a block and paste and paste once we've done that I'm just gonna back off a little bit make sure we've sort of got a, a, the right sort of angle which we do so far so far it's so good it's it's, it's going up at a really nice sort of uh, constant trajectory so we shall keep with this we'll do another like four or six two three four five now i expect we're going to be getting close to the high that i want five six i think i want to have a blue layer now so we're going to go with a blue layer exactly the same size and shape but one block back so like this. <laughs> it's hard to do it manually one block back. It sort of throws off your your pattern. There we go. A blue one. Then we go back to a orange one. Orange one. And then I think I'm going to go two more orange ones. One. Two. And then a white one. And I think that's gonna about be the height we're gonna put the white down and then just back off double check to make sure that we like the distance and the height of it and uh, and then we can just copy and paste it to the other side uh, oops that one I knew something was wrong and there and there that's not right at all something's gone terribly wrong that one that one that one and that one better okay 
Yeah, I think that's absolutely perfect. It's really cool on the map. I think that's absolutely perfect height. Maybe a white line, or, or maybe like a, an orange line, and then a blue line below it. So, like, we change this layer out here to blue. And make it like a double blue striped line. And we go back this way. Okay, beautiful. That one, that one. Not that one. <laughs> Not that one at all. Come along here. Okay, wonderful. Uh, that should look a little bit better, I think. Just two of them in there. Yeah, that's just that, 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 that little bit of extra... Uh, detail going up it so we want to copy and paste that whole thing and put it over there but what are we going to do for the top layer here what what block are we going to use do we just fill it in with snow like this if we do that i think what would be best is actually building this layer the sort of uh, inner layer up by one so let's just run this around the outside i could go with a gray uh, like a, like the the mossy grey that we have, which is like a, a, pl a very plain, clean, textured grey. That could work as well. Either way, I think building this up by one block is, is step number one. Uh, we could use the birch as well that we have on the floor of everywhere else. That could work out quite well. Uh, we could use a black. A black could look quite nice. Or even a darker grey like the cyan uh, clay that we actually have there at the moment there's a few a few different options but what we can do um, is, is we can experiment through a bunch of them so let me get the other funnel down and get up set up for our experiment and I shall be back okay okay so I've got the other stack down for a base block I just used sandstone it was just a block that I had on my inventory by the way I retected uh, sandstone to look uh, like a very sort of clean texture all the way around instead of having those lines and weird stuff that it has over it so what we're going to do is we're going to select this ground level i think i had this first correct level we'll go from there to there and then what we can do is we can do some experimenting we can uh replace the sandstone with snow blocks to see what it looks like at white i think i prefer the white over the sandstone undo it we can do it with 159.9 159.9, which is the cyan clay. I like that one as well. Okay. Undo. And we can finally do it with 48, which is like a lighter grey. I don't know. I like all three of them. I like the lighter grey. I like the dark grey. And I like the um, snow. No, I'm going to scrap the snow one. Now I prefer either the dark grey. Or the light grey. I think I like the light grey. I don't know. You guys can 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 be the uh, the judges, but I really like that double chimney stack, man, on the end there. That looks totally totally awesome. Let's go sort of over here a little bit and down. Look at that. Ah, oh, that is cool. That is so so cool. I think though, some iron bars running around the edge of the uh, of the ship would be good. Like if I grab the iron bars. I haven't re oops, I haven't retextured them like I said. But I think going just like in that spot and then down here and all the way around the oops, the back, you see. It just on the inside it stops people from like jumping over and jumping overboard. That would be a terrible thing to do. That's a super long way up though, isn't it? We're probably we're probably near the height of a skyscraper, if not taller. Uh, a very, very huge, huge boat. I've um, been getting a lot of pictures of cruise ships being sent in from you guys to um, uh, my Twitter and my Facebook account. If you're not following me on there, you really, really should. Uh, it's a very easy way to get in contact with me. And um, there's some, uh, so many people saying uh, that it's too big. And then the picture that they send over is smaller. <laughs> 
uh, is bigger than the one that I've built, Simon, and my one is smaller than the one that they sent over. And there's some people saying, it's too small, you need it to be bigger. <laughs> there, there's so many sort of uh, different opinions. We can't make everyone happy, or I can't make everyone happy. Uh, I have to sort of go into a, a medium point of, of trying to get as many people happy as I possibly can. But boy, do I like it. I think this is one of my favorite one-off builds that I've ever done. Because it was so challenging, oops, because it was so challenging, I've never built anything like this before. And there's a long way to go yet, but I've never ever built a cruise ship in Minecraft. And it's such a big and tricky shape to pull off and takes a very long time. And when you spend such a long time doing something and it ends up being really nice, it's so rewarding, it's a really nice feeling. Now, I don't think that we need these iron bars going around the front unless we want to for design purposes, but I don't think we really need it. But that definitely has helped out the look of it. That's added that extra layer. We need to grab ourselves the all the equipment for these chairs because I want them on the very back of the building as well. So let's grab the slabs and these ones and these ones and these ones. I might grab the string, that and that as well. Yeah, got them all. So we should be able to build everything that we need around the back here. We're going to have some hidden, not hidden seats, but some extra seats around the back here. We can have four of them. Four of them sounds really good. The one in the middle can be our uh, umbrella sombrero shade maker <laughs> so many different names when i asked you guys what they were i can't remember the actual one though off the top of my head and then put these ones down here the red tables really make it the whole area pop out as well it's the perfect block for Ooh, that one and that one and then put those down there. So we've got like four like hidden ones around the back. Like a VIP area. I'll tell you what would look nice as well. Is actually sticking the leaves down behind. It'll make it feel like um, a little bit warmer. A little bit more of a natural area. Like this. Take that one away. Too many there. Take that one away and that one away. Yeah. I like that. I like that. We definitely... Need some lighting though, and these are perfect spots for some uh, nice beacon lights. If I grab beacons, we'll put some down first, and then we'll go around and uh, make it night time, and just double check that we've got lighting in in all the spots that we would want. So we definitely need like a light right here, and I'm going to put a slab above and below it. I think that looks really really nice. Obviously, I've retextured beacons to be a bit of a more of a golden color to suit our street lights in the city portion of this world a lot better whoops like that i think some on the side here would be perfect as well one right here which is four blocks in from the end i can remember that i should be able to remember that we'll have one here no more in the middle there and this one right here and then where did I say four blocks, wasn't it? Four blocks in, in this end one. One, two, three, four. So it's that one. I think it makes sense. Makes sense if it was that one. Okay, beautiful. So we've got lighting around that area. We need some lighting in the middle. Now, we do have glowstone inside the swimming pool, which does a great deal of light, like, like a really cool atmospheric amount of light that you can see there. But I still think that we should probably have some more lighting around here. <gasps> what if we hung them from this? Oh, yeah, definitely. We'll have one there and one there. Every... That's every four cobblestone walls. Every four sounds like a pretty good number. And that would be that one. Can I fit one in the middle? There isn't an exact middle point, so I'll leave it like that. That one. That one. That one. And that one. They're like the hanging baubles of them. What I can do... Now this, this is a little bit... Oops. This is a little bit uh, preference... Pref, up, down to preference. But I have coloured beacons. It's a mod that I have on here. Uh, because this is a 1.7 world. Um, which means that uh, colouring beacons with your... 
uh, with stained glass on top of them to make the beacons a different that like the beacon uh, what would you call them the channels that go up above the beacon when they're turned on uh, that only came out in 1.9 that wasn't around when the original beacon first came out uh, but I wanted uh, color colored beacons so I downloaded this mod that depending on this came out way before colored beacons did but depending on the beacon that you put down would then change the color of the beam that came out of it and that does look so much cooler doesn't it okay so on this side we want to do the pattern in the opposite way that one that one that one oops that one green one yellow one red one orange one. Oh, that looks so sick just some nice cut oh brilliant fantastic okay i'll have to do that on the other side i should do some like cutaway stuff in a bit uh slab and get my slabs back we'll use the orange ones uh the yellow ones sorry majority of the time still haven't got rid of that i will get rid of that though can i fit one there like would that yeah no that looks okay there and there and then the tennis courts at the back we should probably stick some in here as well shouldn't we we could have one in i think that layer and could i get one in the back there i'd have to not really maybe i can put it on the black instead and have one here and one here yeah, I think that's probably the best way to do it. You definitely want some lighting in here. Oh, I can't get through there. I can't get through the gap. And then one there, above, below. One there, above, below. Okay, that should light up the roof of our cruise ship a nice amount. Once we do the inside, the windows will have a little bit of a glow to them. Uh, around the front here at the helipad, I think some red beacons would be nice. Uh, no beam or nothing. I might put some beams on it later on, but at the moment, I think we should have a red one here. 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 And there. Yeah, that look, that, yeah, 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 I love that. I love that. I don't think we need any more lighting across the, the front here. Um... Let me just put the lights on the other side and I should be back. I want to get like a proper complete feel for it, okay? Two seconds. That's so cool. Imagine doing a Christmas tree. When it comes to Christmas, if uh, the City Series, well it should be, City Series should still be going by Christmas, we're going to have to make a sick Christmas tree using those as baubles. Oh, amazing. Anyway, uh, time set. Um, I don't know what time you want. 15,000? Look at that. Oh, that is so nice. Yep. Yep. Just enough lighting around the place to make it sort of glow at the top. Well, I don't want it to be as bright as it is in the day. And we can't do that with the lighting in Minecraft. Light only travels seven blocks in Minecraft. It doesn't go on forever. But that is a really nice feeling. Uh, 6,000 should be roughly where we had it before-ish somewhere around there what we do need to do though is i forgot about this section this doesn't have any blocks in here at all and this has been making the whole place look a little bit empty a little bit um unfinished so hopefully by putting this down this should really uh, give us a feel of of a somewhat nearly completed exterior we've got the anchor to put in oh there's a couple of little details that i want to do on the side um there's a couple of little bits that I want to fix on the side. I mentioned those a few episodes back. There were some parts that looked uh, a little bit wrong. So that shouldn't take too long to fix. We'll be doing that next episode. And then we should nearly be starting the interior uh, relatively soon. I won't be doing a dock for this, by the way, um, in the city. It's way, way too big. There is a... Um, or I am planning, in fact, to do a... a what would you call it? Like a... It's a dock, but not for cruise ships. It's for, like, container ships. Um, like, uh, there's one on, on Grand Theft Auto where I got the inspiration for it from. And they have those cranes that sort of 
on those like square bits and the crane sort of slides across and then comes down picks up the container and drops them off somewhere else uh, where all the lorries go to pick up all of the cargo cargo that's it a cargo port i think that's the name what, what you would call it or what most people would call it um that's what i would call it at least so yeah one i've got one of those to do and there will be a big giant container ship to build as well now i don't know if we'll be doing that in the city series or if i'll be doing a series similar to the cruise ship this series where we build the container ship on that i don't think it'll take anywhere near as long as what this will uh or, or this is uh because at the end of the day a, 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 a container ship is just basically a giant hull with a load of crates on top there's not really an interior as such to worry about um and then there's a load of like square containers to go on it, or cuboid containers to go on it. But as far as oops, actual um, actual detail, there really isn't much. But I still think that it'll probably take probably around ten episodes or so, maybe a little bit less. Yeah, no, I'll, go, I'll, I'll estimate ten episodes to build a container ship. So maybe I'll do it as a mini series, or maybe I'll do it in the same way as what I'll do the uh, hospital, uh, the um, uh, airport. Sorry. Which is where I sort of do two or three episodes in a row there. And then I'll come away and build something else. And then go back to it. And, uh, you know, keep sort of alternating between it uh, until it's finished. That way people don't get bored of seeing the same part being built over and over again of the city. And, uh, and no one gets burnt out. I don't get burnt out with it. Now, uh, down this front area. Because this is an area that people can technically get to. We're going to have to put a door down here somewhere. I think it would be good to have iron bars like how we had on the roof going around this section. Around the front of the ship. And uh, these iron bars really do make everything sort of pop out. Makes the whole thing look... Um, I, don't, I, run out of, I run out of good words. I, I have so much um, enthusiasm for when I build this kind of stuff. But the only other words I can ever think of is depth and detail it's like the two there's so many i should really look up get a thesaurus that's what i should do for my uh for christmas i should buy myself a thesaurus or get someone to get one for me so i can look up some really cool adjectives for detail <laughs> um but yeah it just finishes it off really nicely it adds that sort of darker block um not quite as dark as the cyan below but obviously darker than the wool underneath it and it's like putting a cap uh, or a lid on a bottle. You know, when the bottle, when you have a, a, a bottle and the lid's not on it, the bottle doesn't look complete. But when you put the bottle lid on it, uh, it then looks like sort of a complete bottle. It's a really weird thing, but it just makes sense to me at least. But yeah, see how that just sort of really completes the whole look of the front of that? Looks really, really nice. Okay, beautiful. Uh, how much time do we have? I think we've got a little bit of time left. Let's figure out where these doors are going to go. We're going to have to have... I think we'll probably just do one door in the middle here. Maybe like a large door. No, not that big. I think we can do something like... Like that. It just makes it stand out just that little bit. Maybe do some blue... Uh, pane similar to the windows on the top level so you walk through the middle it's three blocks wide so you can still walk through it if we done that um i don't know what really should we should have out the front here i don't want anything too busy we've got the helipad it's sort of an unused vip part of the ship where you can land on there and get into the cruise ship but not an area that's that's meant to be used all that much uh down the side here in fact, I could do the anchor. I'm going to do the anchor on the other side. I think anchors are mostly on one side of the ship. So uh, we can stick that in. I don't know. I was looking at cruise ships. And about 50% of the cruise ships that I saw had the anchor visible. And about 50% of them didn't. Now, I don't know the reason behind that. Um, it could be just design. Uh, but I think this one I want to do at least partially visible. So I'm going to sort of bring this zone back. And sort of have the anchor sunk into the uh, the boat a little bit. Maybe another layer or two. And then the anchor sort of get pushed out. 
gets pushed out English so I'll have it like this I'm gonna just fill this up for the moment and then let's get on the outside and see exactly how we're gonna why is that there is that just a weird lighting glitch I think so I don't think there's a hole there is there and that goes like that see some of them just look like that oh, weather clear some of them just have like the hole I think I'll put a block right there to make it not quite s exactly square. I should do that. Yeah, some of them just have a hole. And I expect it might open up like a door and the anchor comes out. I don't know. But I think it would be better for us to grab some cyan clay and at least make a, a little anchor shape in there. Um, if I made it one block wider, that could probably be more beneficial for us as well. If I had it coming out here. Uh, yeah, no, that's a pretty cool shape, I think. Oops. Get through. Ugh. Yeah, that's a cool shape. And then the anchor can go in the middle here. I'm going to put three blocks at the top. <laughs> uh, anchor's probably not big enough to stop a boat like that. Um, but it, it, it's really cool. I really like that look. The other thing, I'm just looking at a, a picture of a cruise ship here. The other thing they have is holes towards the bottom that let water out. These are actually quite important uh, because these will actually um, let in water and they'll let out water depending, I suppose, on the weight of the amount of people that are inside and the conditions of the ocean. Um, if there isn't enough water in there, the boat is very top heavy. So what it'll do is it'll let water in, which weighs the boat and sinks the boat a little bit, making it more sturdy, making the, the center of gravity lower. Um, I suppose it'll also uh, let water out. Let's say it was coming into dock. I'm just sort of speculating here. I don't, I don't 100% know, um, but speculating that let's say it was coming into dock it might need to let the water out of its hull so the boat rises up because the water gets shallower as you get to the towards the port so that way it can get higher and not like scrape the bottom of the ship along the 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 floor of the ocean just an idea it's my uh, a theory of mine uh, that makes sense they're usually only towards the front of the ship though from what i can tell on the pictures i'm going to move that and move it over by a few blocks I think that's much more of an even spacing then. They very rarely are towards the back. I do need to add another layer of red on that part. Because you can see it's two layers there, which is what I like. But only one at the front. So I need to replace that. That's off camera work that I don't need to worry about. I wish that block wouldn't keep like messing up with the lighting. It's just one black block there. <laughs> or darker shadowed block. That looks totally awesome though. That's all I've got time for this episode though, I'm afraid guys. I am so pleased with the top of the ship. It's the thing that is going to stand out the most when people first see this build. So it's the first thing that you look at. So it's very important to get it as, as, as awesome as possible. And I think we've really nailed it. Uh, we'll be starting on the interior, I think, next episode. If you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you're not ready, then feel free to subscribe. We shall see you in the next episode.